Hello there, my name is Lauren Delsack, and I'd like to share with you some astrology for Crystal Bowersox, who's in the top 12 of American Idol Season 9 in 2010. Like many of you, I'm excited that the new season has gotten underway, and we can start to look at who might become the next American Idol. I'm sure a lot of you are blown away by Crystal's talent and wouldn't astronomical voice that she has and so I want to look at her horoscope and see if we see that in the horoscope and we see things about Crystal and when she got started in music and what's going on with her right now. Crystal seems to be getting slack for that overconfidence that she exudes and it doesn't surprise us to see that in the natal horoscope she's got the planet Jupiter in opposition with her sun. Whenever Jupiter hooks up with the sun in the natal horoscope it's always going to exude that sense of ego, that overconfidence, that belief in oneself. And it's obvious from the way Crystal comes out there that she's very comfortable with who she is. That's what she presents and that's what we feel. Since it is an opposition, that might tell us that that might not go over very well for other people. It might even cause some conflicts for her as well. And we're going to feel that enormous self-projection. Crystal was also born with the signature of an artist, the signature of a musician, of an artist, of having a terrific voice. And we see that through the Neptune opposition with Venus in her horoscope, whenever Neptune hooks up with Venus. Here it sits at the Aries point, which is either the last two degrees of mutable signs or the first two degrees of cardinal signs. And so whenever a planet or an aspect configuration sits at that Aries point, it's going to be projected publicly for everyone to see, as if she wears it on her sleeve. And that's why the judges have been saying to her that you come out here and you make us feel comfortable. You have a comfort about you. And your voice is a God-given talent. Now, we don't have a birth time for Crystal, but we can draw up the draconic chart to give us some idea of a little bit more here. Now, we cannot take into account the angles of the horoscope, nor where the planets fall in the houses, but we can look at how some of the planets shift into other signs in the draconic chart. We don't exactly know whether her natal moon is in the sign of Pisces or if she was born later in the day, it could be in the sign of Aries, and that's why we also might feel that strong sense of importance or ego. But at any rate, what I find fascinating is that in the draconic chart, Venus shifts into the sign of Taurus, and it is the final dispositor of the draconic chart, along with Jupiter and Sagittarius. But the Venus and Taurus surely stands out and there's two other artists that came to mind that I have the charts of that I've worked with before with phenomenal voices, which is Mariah Carey and Barbara Streisand. And in both of their draconic charts, Mariah Carey has Venus in the sign of Taurus, the final dispositor, and Barbara Streisand, Venus in Libra, the final dispositor. So I found that sort of interesting in terms of Crystal. It's another corroboration of the singing talent that she was born with. When we put the draconic chart on the outer wheel and the natal chart on the inner wheel, we see some striking configurations that jump off the chart. We see that the draconic Venus in Taurus comes into conjunct her north node in Taurus. It seems to be that is the direction that she should be taking in this life. We also see that her quirky draconic moon in Aquarius, which we can see through the way that she presents herself, needing to be different, needing to be significant through the music, comes in to conjunct the Jupiter. And most striking, I find, is that the natal Jupiter-Sun opposition comes in precisely on top of the natal Neptune-Venus opposition. Okay, so they completely hook up together. And so I think that gives a tremendous sense and push of the self-belief within herself about her singing capabilities and talents and the confidence that she exudes when she comes out to perform. For any of you not familiar with the Draconic Chart, please take a look at my videos on YouTube. There's a video series on the Draconic Horoscope and how you can 
calculate that for yourself as well. Through the interviews that we've heard with Crystal, we know that the age of 10 was extremely significant for her. That's when she happened upon a guitar in her home at Christmas of 1995 when she turned 10 years old. And that's when she began performing at the age of 10. So 10 should be very illuminated in her horoscope. When we study the solar arcs that were going on at the age of 10, well, it's not surprising to see that Pluto, the planet Pluto, had arced 10 degrees counterclockwise to form a T-square with her natal Jupiter-Sun opposition. This is two extremely important solar arcs that always will symbolize a brand new perspective, the curtain going up on something brand new, and a lot of optimism influence leadership opportunities for her. It can signify an identity change and prominence, but there's a whole new self coming forward through that solar arc. So those are two very empowering measurements. At the same time, we also see that the planet Mars in solar arc, solar arc Mars, has now come up to aspect that natal Neptune-Venus opposition. Okay, so a semi-square to Venus and a sesi-quadrate to Neptune. So her energy application has now developed at the age of 10 to illuminate that natal musical potential that she was born with. So the passion and the creativity in the arts, energies are applied with vision and imagination, and it even adds the personal charisma and magnetism for her. So very important time. When we look at the transits that were going on then, Transiting Jupiter was conjunct the Neptune and opposed the Venus, and simultaneously at that time, transiting Saturn was squaring in to the Neptune and Venus. So Neptune and Venus, this tells us again that natal configuration is extremely important in her horoscope. And also, at that time, age 10, Uranus was in square to Pluto. And that's always going to be a time of reorganization. Individuality is coming out about her. And we know that 96 was an important year for Crystal Bowersox. Now, when we look and see what's going on right now as she's in this competition for American Idol, we see a very similar scenario. We see that transiting Jupiter is now square to her Neptune Venus. Transiting Saturn has been in the midst of squaring also her Neptune and Venus. And the north node in her horoscope is being aspected by both transiting Uranus and transiting Jupiter, semi-square aspect to the north node. So there's no doubt that Crystal is coming into the limelight. And whether she wins the competition or not, because we all know what happened to Adam last year, depending on America's votes, sometimes they don't like the quirky and eccentric side of people. But if they do... I think it's a given that Crystal could take American Idol. And if she doesn't, I know that she will probably have a record deal, we would assume, and a whole lot of popularity. North Node, public, coming into the public eye. So that's a look at Crystal Bowersox, and I'm a big fan. So I'm all behind Crystal, and I just love her voice and wanted to share the astrology with you. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like some more insightful astrology, please visit my website at www.laurendelsack.com. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.